Hello again folks, back again with another Redmi 1S video. But this time, hey hey hey, look at that. MIUI 6. This is a custom ROM. It's not the official beta ROM, but more like a custom ROM because this person actually developed it from, I think, Redmi Note. Yeah. Uh, that's as far as I know, but hey, we got MIUI 6 running on Redmi 1S. It's very much awaited, this ROM, and it runs very smooth. The only bug that is here is that, well, camera cannot work. But other than that, it all works fine, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. Another thing is that vibration doesn't work, but let's, well, take a look at the interface now. It looks very flat looking, very nice, the animation is very smooth, it's much faster as well, opening and closing the folder, the animation is just much more faster. Now let's take a look at the um, lock screen first, very simple. Slide up to unlock like Android L. Swipe to the left to go to the camera. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Let's slide it up. There's some animation there. Pinch to reveal your settings for the launcher, which looks pretty much the same, really, just minor cosmetic changes. Uh, swipe with three fingers to reveal the the home and then oh yeah slight changes here on MIUI 6 the menu button doesn't work as a menu button but more like the recent apps so if you want a menu button you have to hold it but this time for the recent app you don't have to hold it so single tap you go to the carousel of this app switching looks different but if you want to use the old one just pinch in to reveal the old one still can do the same thing but well I prefer this kind of card style app switching and then let's see at the notification it looks very very nice and it is transparent depends on what background you have looks pretty nice swipe to the right to dismiss a notification swipe to the left you get your music player right there and all of your quick settings right here and then your brightness bar let's take a look at the settings looks pretty much different now it's already been replaced with this a very simple one you don't have two tabs like the quick settings and all settings now it's all in one place which I think is pretty much better because I never really use the quick settings in the MIUI 5 so when we take a look at this uh, many of the settings actually move from its original place um, much more neat now there is a system app setting so all of it in one place much like Apple's iOS. Now let's take a look at the about phone. Let's see Redmi 1S and and version. It's KitKat 4.4.4. Nice. MYUI 4.12.19. Looks pretty nice. All the features pretty much work, unless the vibration and the camera just those two doesn't work but other than that it works really well uh, let's take a look at some of the applications here um, pretty simple nice looking apps now there's some kind of my screenshot that I take a different settings right here very very flat and very good music looks very nice 
there's online tab right now because this is probably a China ROM so you got that it's your old songs things like that this is your menu screen now playing screen you got the menu here looks very nice all of it is transparent and the rest of the settings are pretty much the same as the MI06 but this time it looks very very fresh and let's take a look at the themes the themes looks pretty much the same just new ones uh, probably the other things now let's take a look at the tools mail updater updater looks like the first one that I've shown clock looks pretty different now you can there's like slight 3D effect right there. Alarm, you can set it on. It goes to the clock. 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. The regular clock, wood clock, stopwatch, you can start it up and do some lap. There's some really nice animation. Let's say timer, you can hit that, start it, and pause it probably just cancel it yeah looks very nice looks very eye candy definitely refreshing recorder looks different so now if I press this it will register my voice in kind of a waveform looks pretty cool stop it and play it like this Oh yeah, <laughs> my sound is a little bit muffled here, but what I can say about the speaker, pretty excellent, just like the original stock ROM. Uh, FM radio works if you have the headset, but it, uh, it won't work without a headset. Okay, a calculator looks pretty much more simpler, definitely look nicer. Um, Explorer looks a bit different now, but overall it's still the same, only redesign. Compass, uh, yeah, unfortunately camera didn't work, so it doesn't do that. As you can see there, a really, really nice effect. This is the inclination. Meter looks really nice. Uh, scanner doesn't work because it uses a camera, report bug as usual. Uh, downloads and SIM toolkit, pretty much the same. Security looks just a bit different. Now it is more refreshed, much more flat looking, but essentially inside it's pretty much the same. Uh, permission for scan, etc. looks pretty much the same. Um, phone dialer looks much more simpler your contacts right here as you can see new contacts pretty much the same only much more flat looking SMS pretty much the same and it looks yeah that's the same your keyboard it is fitted with a standard Google keyboard works really well the browser is standard MIUI browser it looks nicer and I would say the performance is much better now in the old one it used to lag a little bit and now this one this one actually doesn't just quite a bit of a relief really because it is based on KitKat okay let's, uh, let's take a look at other stuff calendar looks well, refresh, but every single button is still there, just like when it is on MIUI 5. Notes looks very simple now, but now the status bar follows the color of your notes, as you can see there. But overall, it just works the same. 
weather app looks really cool you slide it up more animations looks really really nice good job <laughs> my UAT video looks very simple your videos right there pretty simple now every other stuff is working root is working out of the box so yeah this is a very nice ROM but well if you don't use your camera really that often you can actually try this and I'm planning to use this quite a bit longer and oh yeah a few more thing RAM available not very much I'm afraid to say yeah maximum is about 250 or so so well yeah not very good for gaming but at least if you want a functional ROM well if you're a casual social me media consumption this will do just fine other stuff um, yeah looks very nice all of it is working and yeah. oh battery life battery life is actually pretty average at best not very good but not very bad either uh, yeah so that's it for my review of Redmi 1S on MI UI 6 B station for another Redmi 1S videos and be sure to stay tuned because probably this end of this year we will get the beta ROM probably with a working camera which is really nice okay so that's it for a moment thanks for watching